Hi everyone, so this is my first time shooting a crochet pattern video, but yeah, we're in brand new times, so there has to be a first time. I wanted to share uh, with you my crochet painting uh, based on the coronavirus that's going on. And yes, us crafters, us crocheters, uh, we're looking for ways to use our creative uh, senses and be able to relate to what's going on. Uh, in the world right now. So this is my finished version. Um, and uh, the materials you're going to need for this, I'm just using Red Heart, uh, which is a worsted weight yarn. Uh, you just need a tiny amount. This is what I'm going to do for my base. And then you can come up with your own colors based on what you have on hand. Uh, this is going to be um, my, my Corona color and then these are the blobs that go on top of the coronavirus uh, so that's my other contrast color that I will be using and then I'll end up embroidering on top uh, with that for the writing as well it's good to have on hand scissors a needle a really wide needle uh, whatever you use to sew your crochet uh, pieces with uh, it's good to have a ruler maybe and the frame you're going to use so Let's go ahead and uh, get started. I did write up uh, the instructions. So if you want a screenshot, here they are. Um, and again, keep in mind, it's my first time writing a pattern. So if you need any clarifications, please leave me a comment below and I will try and um, answer as best I can. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to crochet the base of the painting first. And you will go ahead and make a slip knot as you normally do. And I am going to be crocheting 29, um, rather 30 chains. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I'm at 30 now and you will not do a single crochet in the first one. You know, we have to start doing single crochets from the second one and I'm just gonna do one in each and work my way um, to the end, which will give me 29 single crochets. And this makes my piece be wide enough for my frame. If you're using a different size frame, you can alter um the size or the number of chains you're using again there is a lot of flexibility in this pattern this you do not need to do exactly the way i'm doing uh, you can adapt the pattern to uh, your frame size so please keep that in mind also everybody has different tension so that might impact um your finished size as well and you're going to just do back and forth rows when you get to the end of this row you will need to flip your piece back I hope everyone is staying safe and staying home and practicing social distancing. That's my PSA for today. Okay, here we go. I am at the end of my single crochets. So yes, I should have 29. And I'm going to do one chain at the end and flip my piece over and work single one single crochet in each single crochet at this point and just keep repeating this um, till I have 42 rows for mine I ended up having 42 rows I have another one done so I'm going to show you this one and yes this is 29 stitches going across 
and this is 42 uh, rows going this way. So the finished measurements of my piece are around seven and a quarter inches by around nine inches. And that fits this eight by 10 frame uh, just fine, leaving about a half inch um, edge around um, the border. So when you're done with your base piece, you can get started uh, with your Corona. So I'm just gonna show uh, you how you will make the base of your Corona. So again, we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to, my directions are right here. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to do a single crochet in the second chain from my hook. And I'm going to do another single crochet in the second, or oh, in the third chain. And then I'm going to do five single crochets in this last chain right here, which will make my piece turn around to the other side. I'm not flipping it, I'm just turning it around. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I'm going to do one more single crochet in this next middle chain. And then I'm going to do four more in the very last one. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to slip stitch to the first um, single crochet. So that's your first round. It's done. You have a little tiny oval at this point. You're going to start round two and you have to do chain one. Right here, chain one, single crochet in that, one single crochet in the next two. And then we're going to alternate two single crochets and then Oh no, we're going to do two single crochets in each of the next three stitches. So here we go. One. I think you should come here. So yep, I have three single crochets and now I'm going to do three doubles. Here's two single crochets in my fourth one, two single crochets in my fifth single crochet here, and then another two. And then I'm back here. It's going to be one single crochet in the next four single crochets. One, two, three, four, okay? And then I'm going to do two single crochets in each of the next three single crochets again. So one and two, one and two, one and two, and I'm done with round two. I slip stitch again to the top of my first single crochet. So this is round two, it's completed. I'm ready to move on to round three. I do a chain and here we go. I'm going to chain one, single crochet in the same one and then do one single crochet in the next three. So a total of four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to do two single crochet in the next four single crochets so that's increases four increases i have to do here's my first one here's my second set of increases here's my third set and here's my fourth one now i'm right here i need to do one single crochet in each of the next sing six single crochets one two, three, four, five, and six. 
Now I need to do two single crochets in each of the next four single crochets. So again, four sets of increases. Here's my first one. Second set. Third set. Fourth set. And I have one chain, one single crochet left over. So I'm going to do one more single crochet here. And now I'm ready to finish off round three. So I do a slip stitch and now I can move on to round four. So I do a chain again and for round four I'm going to do single crochets in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to do this sequence okay two single crochets one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet and um i'm gonna repeat um till i get like two uh four sets of two single crochets okay so just keep alternating so two single crochets next one only gets one then we do two again that's my second set and then i do only one and now i start my third set And then I do a single for my third set and then I do two single crochets for the fourth time here and now I'm done um, then I move on and I do one single crochet in each of next six single crochets so one two three four five six and then I do two single crochet, one single crochet, four times. That's one. That's my second set. That's my third set. That's my fourth set and then I do two single crochets here and yep now I'm ready to slip stitch and that's the end of round four so we're moving on to our last round for the virus and um, I hope so metaphorically as well so here we go this is chain one and I'm going to do um one single crochet in each of the next total six uh stitches one two three four five and six then we're gonna do two single crochet one single crochet and then repeat that three more times so a total of four Here's my first set, two, and then a one. And then I'm gonna do three more sets of this, two, and a one. Two, and a one. I think I lost track. I need one more set. And here's my last one. Okay, and then um, I need to do one single crochet in um, each of next six single crochets. Oh, I need to do two single crochets after that, so I'm doing this spot. Forgot about that one. So two single crochets, and now I'm ready for my six singles. One, two, three, four five six um and then yep i'm gonna do two single crochets one single crochet a total of five times so here's my first set two and a one 
that's round two now or rather uh, set two and then here's set three and here's set four and here's set five Now we need to do two single crochets and then one single crochet in the next three stitches and then we're done. So here's two single crochets and then one, two, three. I see I have an extra stitch at this point. I'm just going to do a single crochet in that stitch as well. And then I slip stitch. You do need to leave a long tail for sewing that in, and then you can just fasten up. So here's my the base on my wires. Okay, and now I'll show you how we're going to crochet the blobs. You can see my patterns. I made I made five blobs on this one these red blobs and I made six blobs on this one so it's up to you how you want to position your wires on your painting and how you want to position the blobs so here's how we're going to do the blob again I'm going to do a slip knot and I'm going to chain five one two three four five you're going to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Here's my single crochet. Then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the third chain. Um, next chain, which is, here we go, there's my half double crochet. And then I'm going to do three chains. And in my second chain from the hook, I'm going to do a single crochet. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet in this third chain from my hook. And now I need to go back here. This is my main branch. I've written main branch on the pattern. So you're going back to your main branch. Here's this little tiny branch you made. Here's your main branch. So you need to go back working on your main branch here. That way you get a little triangle. So here we go. This is a half double crochet in what was my fourth chain on the main branch and then I just I can do a slip stitch here into this last chain so just kind of pull through and now we're ready to fasten it off again leave about six inches of yarn for your tail to sew it in and just pull it through here we go so here's what your little blob looks like it looks like a little tiny triangle okay so we're done you will need to make again another four of those blobs or five of those blobs depending on how many you want um so once you're done with your piece um you uh need to sew your uh blobs uh your wires on and you need to position your blobs on and my writing um there's two techniques you can use to do that you can use a crochet hook and do what is called surface crochet but I actually embroidered that on using a needle and doing what is termed as chain stitch. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but if you decide to do surface crochet, um, there are a bunch of videos for surface cro crochet that you can find online. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to show you how you would end up doing the writing. Um, I didn't do any I didn't take a pen or write it out in any way. I just kind of free-handed um, my writing. So yes, there's a little bit of variation in every painting, but that's part of the process to me. So you can see how this one is different uh, from this one. So just kind of uh, try and space your letters out as you go along, and I'm sure it will turn out just fine. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a little sample done to show you the writing, to show you the embroidery. I just wanna show you 
how you would do the um, chain stitch. Um, so I, as you can see, I've left like three rows of single crochets up on the top and that's where I got started for my Corona writing. So let's say this is where I need to start. And I normally don't do a knot at the bottom. I just leave a little bit of, bit of a tail here. Okay, we're going to tie that. And I just take it through one stitch here. And now I'm gonna go back and put a knot here so that my yarn doesn't come out. So here's my knot, and now I can go back to embroidering now that I've secured my yarn. And I go back to this side because my C is gonna go this way, okay? And I will embroider over this little stitch that I just created. So this is how we're going to do a chain stitch. You take your yarn to the left, and then go back where you just took your needle out. And this is how big I want my stitches to be. So make sure your yarn is going around your needle. Because that's how you will create a little tiny loop for your chain stitch. And go ahead and pull, and you'll get a little tiny uh, chain like that. And then again, take your yarn to the left side, go back inside your chain, move forward one uh, single crochet, and then here you go, pull it through. And you have your next chain. Now I'm ready to start curving my C up. So here we go, I'm just going to tilt my needle a little this way. And that's how you surface crochet, well, no not surface crochet, that's how you embroider a chain stitch on top of your crochet piece. And if it doesn't turn out perfect or you want to do a different embroidery stitch, um, that's totally fine, you know. Um, that's the beauty of art and that's why I like to call it a painting because each one will be different. Your style will be different and that's totally okay. Um, so here we go, once you're done with your, this was just my sample, I do have a finished piece here uh, that I'm going to show you how I frame this. Make sure you weave in your ends, which is what I'm gonna quickly do here. Just get them out of the way and the rest of them will be glued back in. So I'm not gonna do all of it. And I want to hide this end as well. Okay, I'll make sure I tuck it in. And then I just ended up hot gluing onto um, my frame. So just kind of spread it out. And this part is super simple. Take your hot glue gun and just tape. Oh, start gluing it. There we go, it looks pretty even. And then you can go around the remaining three sides.
almost done there's light at the end of the tunnel and ta-da we're done with our corona painting corona go away i hope it happens we'll all be hopeful till then stay safe stay healthy and tune in for my next video